Hello and welcome back, fellow PowerShell engineers. We're now going to switch gears, as I mentioned in the intro, to installing our Windows Server 2022 test environment. And actually, we don't need VirtualBox first on that. We need our ISO for Windows Server 2022. Uh, you can find this on Microsoft's Evaluation Center uh, website. I do have the URL right there. Uh, ENUS Eval Center. You can follow the rest of that there. So let's go ahead and click on Download the ISO. And it's going to want us to input some information there. Ooh, am I going to dox my phone number? I don't think so. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you guys could Google it. I'm sure it's just sitting somewhere. All right. Oh, country code. Afghanistan. All right. Perfect. All right. Uh, I'll take the 64-bit edition, English. And I thought before it had... Oh, no, no. That's when we get to the install. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I would have thought that'd be a little faster given my internet connection, but we'll uh, pause the video, wait for that to download, and then we'll go ahead and download uh, VirtualBox. All right, welcome back. Now we see that this is, not that you left, <laughs> we see the ISO is downloaded. So let's go ahead and download Oracle VirtualBox and get that installed so we can build our virtual machine for um making our test environment so virtualbox windows host perfect a little bit of a quicker download get that installed all right we're going to go ahead and click next go, just work our way through this And we'll install the dependencies. Go ahead and do another pause point on this. Don't need to sit here on this too long. Actually, that didn't take that long. <laughs> and here we go. We've got it. Now all we need to do is add a virtual machine. I'll put it, I guess I'll just put it in powershellengineer.com folder. Okay. What did I do? Did I not do the right thing? Select a virtual machine file. Oh, so I'm clicking add. I need to click new. Ha <laughs> Very good. All right. Yeah, I'll just I'll just leave those right there. We'll call this Win Server 2022. Um, let's go up to at least two processors if you want it to run well. And we'll go up to four gigs of RAM. Create that, that's no problem. All right. Um, now we need to go to settings and we go to storage and down here to the disk drive and we'll choose a disk file. We'll pull that from our downloads. Okay, cool. Now we're good to go ahead and give it a start. That's all you have to do. And really, without the download time, I'd like to point out that we're in pretty good shape here so far, time-wise. And we see that it's loading.
or fill out our window here. All right, do next, do install now. I'm going to keep doing some pause points actually, just in case. All right. So we do want the desktop experience, although we could certainly run it without that. And we'll do the standard. All right, we'll go ahead and accept the agreement there. Do a custom install, our 50 gig drive that we made. And we'll go ahead and do another pause point. Although things seem to be moving a little quicker than normal, which is great. All right, it's restarting again, super, super fast. We don't need to boot from that, just so you know. So I didn't edit the settings. Now the thing to do uh, would be to go pull that ISO off the settings or else I'll do that every time. Not really a huge deal. Um, and if you're like me, I, I wind up redoing these a lot anyway. So, or I might convert this VM. I mean, you could just easily make a new VM, but you know, I might convert this VM to something else. So, or, or if you bork the system, which <laughs> I've certainly done that as well. Uh, let's go ahead and give it another pause while it's loading this screen. All right, it actually rebooted one more time and then just got us back to this. So. Go ahead and make a uh, password that you're going to remember. And we'll go ahead and do a finish. And bam, we're ready to, lock, to log in. So on the input, if we go to input keyboard, that's how we'll send our control out delete. And we'll log in with our password that we set earlier. Um, I just turn this on automatically on my VMs. Uh, we could try the admin center. We're not going to do that actually for this. Got all these notifications cleared here. So actually what we want to do is go ahead and go to manage and add roles or features. We're going to get Active Directory added on there. And we'll click next. Role based. We're talking about this machine. And what we want is Active Directory Domain Services. And we'll add everything that it's got with it. We'll click Next again. It's going to add .NET, ADDS. And we go ahead and give that an install. And again, everything's been kind of going pretty smoothly, pretty quickly here. I don't even think I'll bother. Pausing, because I don't think it's actually going to take that long. Yeah, actually, I take it back. I'm going to pause. All right. Um, it is good to go now. Now, So that's installed, but you'll notice right here on our notifications that we have some post-deployment configuration. So what we're going to do is go ahead and promote this to a domain controller. And when we do that, we're actually going to add a whole new forest. And we're going to name that Hogwarts. Org. And here is where we're going to, we're going to wait for it to load. All right, now we're back. Let's do, I don't know why that took so long. Actually, uh, I think too, if you guys just click on this while it's doing that loading thing, I, I, I don't know if it was a coincidence or not, but when I just clicked on it, it seemed to load. Like, I don't know why I was doing that, but we're good to go. Set a password. Um, all these settings are fine. Oh uh, yeah, we don't, we won't get that uh, delegation. And we've got to create the NetBIOS name. 
Uh, I believe it should auto populate that. Yep, Hogwarts. It's good. Looks good. Verifying the prerequisites. This also might take a little bit. Actually, while we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and try to up our display resolution here. Um, it's a little bit better. We'll keep that and see if we go. There we go. That's more what I'm looking for. There we go. Okay, we got some warnings here, but everything completed. Sorry, I keep trying to, I don't know why it keeps resetting this, guys. Oh, here, we'll get that off of there. All right, so we'll go ahead and do an install. I'll keep toying with the, uh, the window here. All right, so because it's not quite perfect to what I've got here, I'll have to like scroll up and down. It's not a huge deal. All right, so wrapped up. It's about ready to restart. We'll go ahead and let it uh, restart. We will let it. It's not telling us. At this point, I assume you've probably already paused the video a bunch of times because, yeah, for whatever reason, setting up the uh, the roles and enabling Active Directory, I mean, it's like almost taking as long, if not longer, than to download, make the VM, and install Windows. It's, it's kind of wild. All right, we're getting close here. All right, so it's loaded, finally, and uh, go ahead and do a Control-Alt-Delete, and we see that we have uh, Hogwarts here as the domain that we're logging into now that this is a domain controller for our Hogwarts domain. So go ahead and log back in, and scroll down here, and... We got server manager we don't need that but just one final thing to check so we'll search for active directory users and computers go ahead and pin that there to the taskbar because we'll be checking that when we start making some users and interacting with them via powershell and you'll see it's got some OUs built in automatically. We'll build our own OUs. But if you made it this far, which I assume you have, because absolutely this is just steps you got to follow. It's super easy. I'm, I'm sure this is not too hard for you guys. Just annoying waiting for it all to load. But uh, congratulations. You now have your own test domain controller. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next lesson.